Hi there, this is the fourth work and energy method video. Um, in this video I'm going to be discussing uh, a few different um, ideas on how you could solve this problem, but mostly uh, I just find this uh, this method uh, supreme, uh, especially when you're trying to pinpoint certain details within a model. Uh, let's just give you a casing point. Let's say you have a frictionless surface that loops up like this and lands on another surface like that. And what you have is, uh, you could say this is a marble factory or something along the lines. And just to kind of switch it up, we're going to have, a, let's just say a marble that's blue, blue marble. And this marble will travel all the way up and it will land and continue on. And what I want to know is that when the marble reaches up top, when it reaches up here, going left opposed to the initial velocity of going right, what's the What's the height requirement to cut the speed in half from the V equaling 4 meters a second? And the V up here equaling, say, 2 meters a second. What is the delta Z required? What is Z requirement? to achieve this kind of uh, reduction in speed. Okay, so since we're going to use the first point, and I'm just going to call it A, since we're going to use the first point on the bottom as our reference point, you know that, well, Z of A is equal to zero. You already know the velocity, so let's just shoot it right into kinetic energy equation which when we calculate that out KE let me zoom on in here kinetic energy is equal to one half M which let me make one up five kilograms V squared which is going to be 4 squared. When you calculate that out, that's going to equal uh, 40 joules. Okay, so 40 joules is our kinetic energy. That's our total energy, considering that this is going to be a frictionless surface. So, this is going to equal our second portion of it, which is going to be up here, which is going to also have a velocity of 2 meters per second. However, it's going to be displaced a certain z. Well, since all energy is going to be like the sum, the sum of the energy equals 40 joules, which also equals PE plus KE, we can determine that, uh, well, we already know the kinetic energy portion because we know how fast it was going up, up top. So let's just calculate that out. You have 40 joules equals Ke, which is going to equal 1 half m5 v squared 2 squared plus the Pe, which is going to be mgh. 5, 9.81, and then H, or Z in our, in our problem. But anyway, when you solve this out, H or Z, so H, I'll just say Z, Z, or H, is equal to point 
zero point six one one six meters. Way more significant figures than we needed, but I'm just pointing out how quickly it was to solve how how little work it was to solve for this little uh, this correlation between velocities and displacement uh, linear displacement anyway uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, next videos I'm going to be hitting on is uh, linear impulse and such so leave any comments uh, otherwise I'm going to leave this off in the dust it's fairly simple stuff you guys have a nice day